Standard Film Team. Pretty standard. Pretty awesome. Right on everybody, it's tutorial time. I've been using green screen quite a lot recently, so I thought why not make a tutorial about how to remove the greenness. Here we have Robin from Rob City, and he's standing in front of a cheap green screen kit. You can see that it's wrinkly and unevenly lit, but it's definitely not the end of the world. First select the footage, and then select the pen tool. Now create a mask around the area your actor is going to move around in. We want to isolate the area around the actor as much as possible to improve the keying process, so we don't lose information that doesn't have to be used, if that makes any sense. Go to effects and presets and type in color key. This tool is very handy when your background isn't perfect, as you can remove the different shades of green separately. Choose a key color, and increase color tolerance to about 30. Then duplicate the color key and repeat the process until the background is completely removed. Go back to effects and presets and type in simple choker. This will help to create an outline, which we're going to use as our color key. Go to effects and presets and type in key light. We're going to use the preset that has key light, key cleaner and the advanced spill suppressor. Disable the key cleaner as it doesn't do anything good at the moment. Now choose the screen color. Sometimes you just have to go back and test which shade of green works the best. Now the green is removed. Totally fantastic. There's still some green spill left, but no worries. Go to screen matte and adjust the white clipping. The higher the number, the more detail will be preserved. So don't go too crazy with it. Just about when all of the gray pixels are gone will do just fine. Maybe adjust the black clipping a bit. Set the screen shrink to about minus 1.6 and screen softness to about 0.4. These settings are all relative, so just test what works best for your footage. Then choose intermediate result. Looks pretty good, I guess. You can try the key cleaner. Sometimes it makes things better, sometimes worse. So not using it is a wiser choice at times. And finally, activate advanced spill suppressor to remove some of that green spill. So there you go. It's not perfect by any means, but I hope that some of it was useful to y'all. This is Eric from Standard Film Team. Please subscribe for more Swedishness on the tube. Hey!